Today I'm going to show you how to install a start stop controlling a relay. Hi, my name is Craig Michaud and I am the electrical instructor. Today we're going to talk about a few different things. We're going to be starting our first series on motor controls, the actual wiring of motor controls, a basic setup and more of an exploration of you know motor controls to kind of get people interested in what we do. So if you're new to the channel, please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. Today what we're going to do is we're going to wire basic start stop. Okay, I'm going to show you a ladder logic diagram, which is actually something that we're going to talk about briefly. Um, you know, if you want to see more of these videos, obviously the more thumbs up I get, the more videos I can make of this. But so let's look at the diagram and let's talk about it quickly. Okay, so this is this is a ladder diagram, and our ladder diagram has two L's. Okay, one is line one. One is line two. Now, line two for this purpose is going to be a neutral. Line one is going to be our hot or our 120 volts. We're going to do everything line voltage today. This here is a stop button. If you don't understand how buttons operate, please click the link above and watch my buttons, understanding how buttons work video to get an understanding before you actually move on with this video. I have my start button, okay, my normally closed, my normally open, and then we're going to install an ice cube relay, which is going to, we're going to hold it. I'm not going to show you how to wire the relay. I'm only going to show you how to wire the start button and the stop button. When you're looking at these, uh, this diagram, you're basically going to use it as a follow the wire. Okay. Motor controls is nothing more than single pole switches and light bulbs. That's kind of the way I look at it. And this is kind of the way I teach it too. In this case, now we're going step by step. The only thing we have to remember, we will have to wire it one, one wire at a time. So don't look at the overall, oh my God, I can't do this. You just look at the individual wire and follow in the diagram. As far as the contact here in the middle, okay, this is how the diagram is wired. I am going to wire this diagram, but I'm going to take you step by step on how to wire the buttons compared to actually wiring the, wiring the relays. We're going to discuss the relays later. Okay, so we're going to be using a 16 gauge solid conductor. It just makes life that much easier. So, you know, I can bend it and form it. All I'm going to do is wire it up somewhat neat. This way here I can show you how to wire it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come from our hot wire here. We're going to come from our hot wire here and we're going to run to the stop button. So if you remember our stop button is our red button which is our normally closed button. Okay what you're going to do is you're going to go from this terminal to the feed here so when we turn the power on power potential will be to here. Let me show you how to do that. Okay, now my power is run. Now I have to run from one side of my normally closed to the other side of my normally open. Because what I have to do is I have to go through that closed button to get power to my normally open button. Okay. 
now from here, now I have to go up to my 8-pin relay. Now that I have that done, now I've got to run my neutral. My neutral is just going to go to one side of my relay to bring power to it to complete my circuit. Okay. So now I just wired the relay. My relay is actually going to be clo uh, closed or latched or holded or held. Um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to be doing more videos. And I'm gonna, my next video is going to be um, wiring an 8-pin relay, actually wiring the relay. So in th for this video here, we're just focusing on getting start-stop to work. We went over the, we're going to go back over the diagram so that you get a better understanding of what we just did and then we can kind of put things back into play and see how it works. So let's see how we did. Hope we can see this. Press the start button, light comes on. Press the stop button, light goes off. Okay, so let's go over it. We ran our power wire to this side of our normally closed switch. We ran a jumper from our normally closed to our normally open. And then from our normally open, we went up to the relay and that actually fed the coil. Very basic and very simple. So back to the board, our wire coming off our terminal strip is here. Then we ran this wire here then we ran this wire here, and then we ran our neutral back to our terminal strip. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, do me a favor, please subscribe. We're starting a new series on motor controls, and I really wanna have you along for the ride. You know, this is a basic step. We're gonna do basic motor controls, start, stop, you know, we did this, we've gone over relay bases, we've gone over the 11 pin and the 8 pin, we've gone over push buttons, we've gone over different type of relays. Now I want to expand our motor controls. This will give you a basic understanding. As always, have a great day and be safe.